guys, it's me, Stace, for our Friday PIP, Pinterest-inspired project. We are making Rice Krispie Treats, one of my all-time favorite guilty pleasures. In a saucepan, I have three tablespoons of melted butter. To that, you're going to want to add one 10-ounce packaging of miniature marshmallows. And we're going to stir these, take it off the heat, and stir these up until they are completely melted. We're going to keep on doing this until they're all the, way, all the way melted, and we'll come back and see what they look like. All right, we are getting there with our melted marshmallows. You can see it's coming along pretty nicely. I do have my burner on low, and I have my pan sitting on it, and then every now and then I lift the pan up so it's not in direct heat with the burner. You want to make sure they are completely melted. I still see a few marshmallows in there. It only takes a few minutes to melt them all, but you do want to keep on stirring it the entire time. Look at that marshmallow goodness. Okay, we're just about there, I think. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. Okay, now to this, we're going to add in six cups of the Rice Krispies um, syrup. And I have that right here. I'm going to do a little bit at one time and stir this in there. This is going to take some work. But you do want to get it nicely incorporated. All the cereal added. And it's getting kind of hard to stir. A lot of marshmallow in the corner there. You want to grab all that. All right, so that's pretty much incorporated. I'm going to go ahead and grab in the other half of that marsh of the cereal mixture. As you can see what I'm doing there. You can add anything to you know to this if you want to, I guess, right? You can add chocolate chips to it. You can add um, like rainbow sprinkles. Okay, I'm gonna keep on mixing this up, and then we're gonna, we're gonna put this into a nine by thirteen greased pan. I just sprayed it with some cooking spray. All right, we're gonna come back and do that when this is done. All right, we are all mixed up. What I did here is I grabbed another spoon and I sprayed that with the nonstick cooking spray. We're going to pour this into our pan and really scrape the bottom. A lot of stuff's st stuck down there. Okay, got the most of that out of there, right? Now we're going to take this and kind of just spread it around. If you need to spray your spoon again, just take a little bit of cooking spray and just press this in the pan. And that's it. Then we're going to let it cool off for a little bit, do a taste test. You want to do have it compacted pretty tight. It shouldn't take hardly long to cool off. Make sure you get in your corners really well. And just press firm so it all kind of goes back and makes it cuttable, you know. And of course, if you want to have them higher, you can use a smaller pan. Now, I like this because, you know, we're making them at home, so we know it's in them. There's only three ingredients, three tablespoons of melted butter, one 10 ounce packaging of the miniature marshmallows and six cups of the Rice Krispie um, cereal. Great fun treat for the kids after school. All right, so I think we're pretty good there. Nicely compacted in there. 
All right, we're gonna let it cool off, wash that pan out, and we'll come back and do a little tasting on them. Alrighty, I let them sit on the counter about 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and cut them and see how they are. They're cutting really easy. They're nice and firm. Okay, that's what they look like in there. What do you all think? Yummy, let me taste them. Hmm. They're good, but they're plain. Um, I think they need like something sweet on them maybe. You can see here, they're nice and gooey. Let me taste them again. I taste cereal. I mean, for three ingredients, they're not too bad, but they're kind of plain. They need that little bit of sweet factor to them, I think. But anyway, there you have it. Today's Pinterest and Fire Project um, Rice Krispie Treats. Any questions at all, guys, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.